some Toronto emergency departments are now seeing a rise in flu cases as a triple threat virus season continues putting extreme pressure on hospitals. Though healthcare experts are strongly recommending we all get the flu shot, one Toronto doctor says we need to make it easier for people to roll up their sleeves. After COVID, it's the most common vaccine preventable cause of death in our country. On average, 3,500 people die from flu every year in Canada, with many more ending up in hospital. And as we face what could be one of the worst seasons in recent memory, Dr. Samir Sinha says significantly upping historically low vaccination rates is needed to save lives. There's this, this goal that we've set of trying to get at least 80% vaccinated, but we've never cracked the 70% mark amongst older adults and amongst People in general were usually in the 40s for Canadians overall. A child from eastern Ontario died from flu just a few days ago when pediatric hospitals are overwhelmed with sick children suffering from respiratory illnesses. At one point, Sick Kids Hospital reported half of their young patients on ventilators in the ICU tested positive for influenza. Why do you think we have such low uptake when it comes to the flu shot? Most people say I just didn't get around to it. I didn't think that flu is that serious, that I need the vaccine. I'm pretty healthy. You know, why would it be helpful for me? And I think a lot of people are underestimating their risk. But at the same time, I don't think we're actually making it as convenient for people to get vaccinated as well. For those who do not have access to primary care, pharmacies are the flu shot go-to. Many are appointment only, others do walk-ins. And while the province says pharmacies can vaccinate children two years and up, some do not have the proper doses for kids younger than five. We know that when you make it easier so that people don't have to make multiple trips to multiple different providers um, to get vaccines, it's more likely that they're just gonna get vaccinated. One thing that really bothers me a lot is that uh, we're not seeing that uh, that every vaccine clinic is offering the ability to co-administer vaccines. So basically saying, if you're coming to get your COVID booster, by the way, do you know that we could actually give you your influenza or your pneumonia vaccination or your shingles vaccination at the same time? Another issue is the high dose vaccination for seniors, one of the most at risk populations. Many pharmacies have run out of supply. And according to pharmacist Kristen Watt, Ontario is out of stock. We've ordered them and used them all. I haven't had any in my pharmacy in a couple of weeks now. Watt says high dose vaccines have been around for a few years and by now they should be offered to every senior. The province knows exactly how many doses of flu vaccine are administered to people over the age of 65 in the province. There is no reason we cannot order properly. Seniors are still strongly recommended to get the shot, even if it's the regular dose. Now, Toronto Public Health is also trying to make things as easy as possible for people to roll up their sleeves. Right now, they have six mobile flu shot clinics that take walk-ins and appointments. They're also holding pop-ups in priority neighborhoods. You can find more information on all of this on our website, citynews.ca.